This is the story of how I almost died. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is story time. We love a good story. Okay, so the story is going to be about how I almost died. Believe it or not, yes, I actually almost died. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Okay, so about two years ago, my family and I went traveling, right? Although I don't remember where we went though, we just wanted to travel because it was like, you know, summer and we just wanted to go somewhere and get out of the house, you know, to do stuff. So when we got there, we actually ended up in a hotel, one of our favorite hotels ever. And um, there was a pool there. So we actually got there at like nighttime, probably like, like late at night, probably like, I don't know, two in the morning, I think it's two in the morning. My siblings were asleep and they were tired when they had to get out of the car. And I, I was really hyped because we haven't been in the that hotel that I've liked and my whole family liked for a very long time. So I was really excited, I was hyped and everything. So we got on our bathing suits to go swimming. Um, yeah, at like in the middle of the night. I don't know why we just wanted to, because we always do night swimming whenever the first thing we basically do when we get to the hotel is go swimming like no matter what time it is we just go swimming so we basically went night swimming or whatever it was it was at the middle of the night 12 o'clock and my mom she wasn't she wasn't swimming she was just watching us like you know just chilling on her phone and then my siblings and i were just playing in the pool and me i didn't really know how to swim so did my siblings they didn't even know how to swim either and I knew how to swim a little bit. Like I knew how to swim, but like not in the deep part. You know, I didn't know how to like get my legs working at the deep part. I didn't know how to like do the arm movements. Yeah, I didn't know any of that. So when I was swimming at the like, like I think it was three feet. Yeah, I was swimming there and then I wanted to go. I was like, okay, I'm confident. I could already swim. I thought I was like ready for four feet and five feet and six feet or something. Then I just, my dad was there. He was at five feet. Or, or was it four? I think it was four feet. And my siblings, they were practicing swimming at like three feet because they could actually stand, not like, you know, like five, four feet, something like that. So when I knew how to swim on three feet, I was feeling very, very confident. So when I saw my dad at like four feet, I swam over there. Like I would, he taught, he did teach me like how to use my legs, like how to kick and how to like do the arm movements, you know? Then I swam over there and then as soon as I got there, my dad was doing a handstand underwater. And then I was like swimming, like my, I was kicking. Then I stopped kicking and doing the arm movements, movements. And then um, it was like, I was in a like standing position sort of, but four feet was actually too deep for me because I was like really short. So when I stopped kicking and do it like swimming basically, stopped kicking and then I basically, the pool basically like sunk me down. While my dad was doing a handstand, this was actually pretty funny. I don't know why I did this. My dad was doing a handstand underwater and then when it was, the pool was like, the water was like putting me down, like sinking me down or whatever. I was grabbing onto my dad's legs, like I was, Whole, like I was like grabbing on because I didn't want to drown, you know, and then but at the same time I was drowning So my dad was still under doing a handstand and then there's me like holding on and I'm still sort of drowning Like I was drowning like I was actually drowning, but I was holding on and while I was drowning my siblings were already at the hot tub then my mom she uh, was she was like just hanging out with them, just type, just like talking to my siblings. And then she caught me drowning and then my sibling caught me too. They were like all looking at me. They didn't know what to do. But when my dad s stopped doing the handstand, I couldn't grab, I didn't have anything to grab on anymore. And I like, I was so far from like grabbing onto the, one of those things, you know? Like I was literally in the middle of four feet. Like I couldn't grab onto anything except my dad, but like his feet was like, <laughs> He stopped the handstand. And then that's when he noticed that like I was underwater. Then I was like trying to go up, up. Then I realized I was running out of air. So I thought I was like, gonna, I was gonna pass out or something. Then like I said, my dad uh, stopped doing the handstand and then he realized that I was drowning. So um, he helped me to get out of the water. 
And then I got out and then I went in the hot tub and then my siblings went back to the, what's it called, the, the pool because like they were so hot in the hot tub or whatever, they just wanted to go back. Anyways, um, my dad continued swimming with my siblings and I was in the hot tub and my mom was talking to me. Then she asked me what happened. And then I told her what happened and then I, and then I said, I thought I was gonna like drown. And she said, you're very brave and all that stuff and all strong and you tried your best. She told me like, don't go to the deep part until you know how to swim like fully, like com completely, you know what I mean? Then I said, okay, after like 10 minutes of being in the hot tub, cause I was still scared to go back in the pool. Cause I thought I was gonna drown again. And um, after like 10 minutes, I got confident again. Like I kind of forgot about it. And then I just went uh, in the pool to hang out with my siblings and you know, just, I just kept practicing more to get ready for like the deep, uh, the deep uh, part of the pool. So we got back to the room and then my nose was like really red. Like my nose was like red, like really, really red. And I did swallow a lot of water, like pool water whenever I was like drowning. So that wasn't good. Then I also did breathe in a lot of water too. So that's why my nose was red and uh, my throat was hurting sort of and like I felt sick probably because I swallowed the water. So I don't know, I just uh, went to bed, you know, just rested off and then the next day I felt better. And that's the tea, sis. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also go follow me on my social medias. It will be down in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.